Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for your daily dose of Dismal Disney. With diversity. With more diversity. So maybe it's a 5D. It's now in 5D. That is the fifth, uh, the fifth key. They've added the fifth key, which is literally uh, diversity and inclusion. We're gonna mm -hmm. talk, we're gonna talk about this. So for those of you who were wondering whether or not Disney's recent financial misfortune. Uh, would translate into Disney maybe walking back some decisions regarding Splash Mountain and uh, rumored re-theme of the Hall of Presidents and all of that. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Nope, they're doubling down. They're doubling down on diversity according... So that's 3D. 3D. They're going 3D <laughs> on their 5D. Oh my god, so this is like 4D chess here. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Josh DeMauro, who's in charge of the Disney Parks, issued a statement yesterday um, It was part of this uh, IAAPA Global Association of Attractions yep. uh, virtual convention they had. Yeah, they had. A, he was a keynote speaker, so they had a lot of Disney news in there, and then he said this. Right, and he's basically saying that we are absolutely positively going to filter everything in the theme parks, that's his domain, mm -hmm. the theme parks through the diversity and inclusion Lens, however, it doesn't seem like it's just limited to that. Uh, there is more talk now that Pixar is going to uh, push for more representation and diversity as well. So will they not do this Splash Mountain thing? No, uh, they're totally going to do yep, Splash Mountain. Yep, they did it with, with Pirates. No one even asked for that. No, that was like a completely out of left field. And of course, we know why they probably did it. Mm -hmm. it. Probably was to promote Red the Pirate as being the replacement for Jack Sparrow. That's exactly why I think they did it. You know, so there's always a motivation. In this case, with Splash Mountain, I think it's more about them being able to sell princess merch. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, I'm sure. It's always about merchandise. You'll find that out. It's always how they can sell it. Uh, We're yeah. going to talk about that later, though, right? Yeah, we'll talk about that later. So before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news views. And rants, guys, we're over 150,000 subs. I think we're like 152 or 153,000. Thank you. We're on the road to 200K. And uh, yeah, so this happened yesterday. They had this this virtual convention because that's all people well, do now. There was some good news in the virtual convention. We got a look at the, if you look at the down in the right corner, they look at the inside of the track for Guardians of the Galaxy. That is there. And then if you look at the other post I had, it oh, we got the runaway railway for McDonald's. But the other post is the stupid Star Wars hotel is still moving forward, guys. They're and for $3,000 a weekend, you can stay in a place like that. This looks like, this doesn't look like a Star Wars hotel. It looks like a, the set of a Star prison. Trek. It looks to me like a prison. It does. It looks like, it looks like a space prison. They'll, they'll use the alien IP. They'll have aliens visit you in the middle of the that's night. That's right. That's right. But, you know, that's what a look at the hotel room is for or the cabins for, you know, your state where you shell out a shit ton of money and you get to sleep in a pod. Get to sleep in a pod. Doesn't but look big enough. It's anyway. a magical. It's a magical pod. That's right. So, yeah, according to Josh DeMauro, Disney Parks will continue to push forward with their diversity and inclusion initiatives. Uh they're talking about how earlier in the year, Disney announced a retheme of Splash Mountain that will remove all references to Song of the South and replace it with Princess and the Frog. And we know this is already happening in Disneyland. Mm -hmm. They took Zippity Doodah out of the playlist in Disneyland. Yep. Just completely. Like classic Disney song, it is gone. So there's not even going to be, I don't even think there's going to be any nods. They're trying to erase to it. any, any you know, connection to it. And the sad thing about it, uh, you know, if you want to, if you want to really look into it, um, Song of the South, for one thing, Whoopi Goldberg, that was actually her first wish as a, a Disney legend. She wanted Disney to release Song of the South, mm -hmm. put a disclaimer on it, but don't hide this movie. And uh, also the man who played Uncle Remus, he got an Academy Award. Right. And it was a big deal. And actually, it's funny because you talk to a lot of people who are, are not white um, and not women. They will tell you that they think this is a disservice. A lot of people will tell you it's a disservice because there are some real big uh, milestones involved in it. I mean, there are there's a lot of problems involved. In it. I'm not yeah. going to say there isn't. But there are some takeaways from it that are important. And now they're just going to pretend like they didn't happen, which in some ways is actually, you know, kind of more insulting. It's like the baby with the bathwater kind of thing. Yeah, pretty much. And we're, we're, we're speaking about the, the baby in the drop-off in the bathtub, I guess, because of the splash. The baby in the bathtub drop. 
Yeah. Dropping babies down a waterfall. What are you talking about? Goonies. I don't know. We're talking water. We're talking bath. I'm thinking. You're talking. I'm trying to think of a cool segue, but I can't think of I can't think of anything. So look at how funny I am. I'm not funny. I know I'm not funny. So anyway, uh, yeah, many Disney fans and activists, of course, Praise the decision till they find something. You know they'll find something problematic with Princess and the Frog. People already did. They're saying there's a whole voodoo culture and all that stuff, and there's some slavery and stuff involved in that. So there actually is some issues with the the culture around that the the time period uh, from Princess and the Frog. Um, (laughs) But they don't they'll they'll, they'll ignore that because Princess merch sells. Princess merch sells. Mardi Gras merch. You know, yeah. Um, But four times as many people want to keep Splash Mountain as it is, according to Change.org. There are uh, 86,000 people who want to keep Splash Mountain as is. But if you go to the uh, the original petition, there were only like 20,000. I'm just putting it out there. Anyway, the bigger issue is that um, you know beyond Splash Mountain, there was talk that Disney was going to go through and actually review all of their historical attractions yes. uh, to make sure that history was rewritten history was inclusive and diverse enough it's not just that it's just you know they were taking their actors for voiceovers and things and if it if it wasn't an uh, the voice that they thought should be associated with a the character they're gonna have to retape it if it's not coded a certain race i'm like wait what yeah so there were a lot of white voice actors voicing non-white characters and this does seem to be a missive within Disney because all the Disney characters and Fox characters were effective. Of course, we we saw what happened with the Simpsons and with the Cleveland family mm-hmm. guy. And it does seem like anything, anything Disney touches now, uh, if you're a white person playing on white character, that's a no, no. Even if historically people have not had a problem like Cleveland, I don't think a lot of people had a problem with that. Maybe a lot of people didn't know Cleveland was actually a white guy. But he's been playing the role for 20 years. Well, that's one thing about voice acting. There were a lot of people of different races playing characters of other races, and no one cared because it didn't matter. What was kind of insulting about the the Cleveland situation, though, is they fired the guy who originated the character, uh, Mike Henry, and he'd been uh, you know doing Cleveland for 20-some years, and they brought in a sound-alike from YouTube. Mm-hmm. A sound-alike. Just like, I mean, that's just kind of... Yeah, it would be really uh, insulting that would you be. did it for many, many years, and then they just replaced you. With, you know. Just this year. Yeah. And, and this is... With somebody who sounds like you. Who you sounds know? exactly like you, who does everything that you did, just copies you, basically. Mm-hmm. You're a copy. But there, probably get more attention, too. Uh, probably. Probably. But, you know, there's been talk of a Hamilton-esque retheme of the Hall of Presidents. Yes, they're talking about doing it with him and Weird Al. Yeah. Then Manuel Miranda and Weird Al. Yeah, which I, I guess on some level the Hall of Presidents, one, it's it's boring as hell, uh, I'll be honest. And two, it is gonna be harder to keep up with things because every time there's a, a changing of the guards, you know, there's always drama. I know when they were yeah. gonna put Trump in there, they they left it. Uh it was shut down for what, like two years? Yeah. I think something like that. And they finally put the Trump animatronic up. And I guess he had a problem with his animatronic. And then people were coming in and booing the animatronic. It's like, you know, it's not actually him, right? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Just like, do you guys guys know it's not actually him? But they had guards and everything there. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Uh, So this is what he said to the uh, IAAPA. IAAPA. Events in the U.S. forced us to look across our entire business with an updated lens. And frankly, we have some work to do both on stage and backstage. And at Disney, a company steeped in tradition and heritage, change isn't always easy. Uh, DeMauro said, when we say to all who come to this happy place, welcome, that means everyone, both cast and guest. And that's a tradition that goes back to Walt Disney himself. But I did note that Walt didn't like communists. That's right. He didn't. So anybody's welcome at, Di- at Disney except for communists because Walt Disney doesn't like them. Damn, there goes half of Twitter. There goes half of Disney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but um, yeah, they added the, the uh, fifth key. Inclusion. So this oh, is actually a key. Yes. Oh my god, I thought you were king about that. No, okay, the fifth it is. key. Okay, it's god. the first time they've added a key uh, in a long time. So I mean, I'm 100 percent for diversity and inclusion. I just think it, it, you know, when it's organically done. I think when it's, you're using it as a marketing tool, which is what they're doing, mm-hmm. you know, damn well they're not going to make it about just you know trying to make it because it's the right thing to do. They're going to make it so they can be like lauded for it and applaud for it, and they're going to make changes that make zero sense whatsoever. Just and that no one's asking for, it, no matter what race, gender, sexual orientation you are, just so they can say they did it. 
Yeah, well, that's what he says. He said uh, more information about Disney's backstage commitment to inclusivity will be rolling out in the, in the next few months. Guests facing changes like the reimagining of Splash Mountain have been expedited to ensure that all who visit the company's parks do feel welcome as well. Uh, very few people were really, as far as I know, very few people were complaining about Splash Mountain. Most people only know Splash Mountain had a connection to Song of the South. Yeah, I'll be more surprised by that. You know, um, and look, even the controversy around it, to be completely fair, goes back to the 1980s. It does. I, I remember thinking, why are you doing Song of the South? <laughs> like at, at that point, the movie had already been vaulted. Like they they had a screen. I think it was 86 was the last time it was shown that Disney acknowledged it. And it was in the theaters uh, for a limited theatrical run for the anniversary. And then they just kind of like buried it. And next thing you know, it's like, oh, here's a ride based on that movie we don't talk about. But to be fair, they did make it about the the animal characters right. and not about the issues people had problems with. Right, and you know Uncle Remus wasn't in it. Um, they had you know Brer Frog and uh, you know these characters too. I mean they're in international parks. You have to realize you know as someone who worked on the Disney comics, the the uh, animal characters from Song of the South are actually very very popular overseas because mm-hmm. to them it's just furry comics. It doesn't mean anything to them because they don't have a lot of these people probably don't have. Um, a much knowledge to the of issues. yeah, they don't have much knowledge of U.S. history anyway. It's just like oh, they're funny animals, yeah. you know, funny animal comics. So I don't know, guys. Uh, that is that is absolutely going to happen. I do expect Hall Presidents to get the axe too. Uh huh. Um, because it says major change. Oh yeah. So this look, and he's also saying too, like as Disney is laying off twenty eight thousand cast members, and I'm sure a lot of those twenty eight thousand cast members are black folks. Who are now mm-hmm. don't have a job, but they're going to funnel all kinds of money into changing Splash Mountain for PR. You know, for yeah. Yeah. P- see, well, I'm just worried that they're going to turn around and be like, "Well, we have to have diversity and inclusion, so we're just going to lay off a bunch of white people." Uh, I don't know. Because we're going to fight racism with more racism. I don't know. It's yeah. I I mean, this is. It's going to be really interesting to see how they they handle this. Uh, this I believe is for uh, fist bumps. Publicly, it is, and they do. Um, you see this all the time. And actually, I kind of find it almost insulting uh, the people who are diverse because it's like it's not because they're doing it because they care. They're doing it because they're doing it to make to get attention. We see this all the time with their charity work and quotes. You know, they could just do good things and do good things because they that's the right thing to do. But they don't. They do nothing that's a good thing unless they have some way to put up a Disney Parks blog about how great and glorious and wonderful Disney is, and how you should book a trip because they help people. Yeah, that's that's what this is about the end of the day um so of course we know they're already doing this on the movie side of things too uh we saw with abc that they basically are going to have affirmative action hiring at abc that i think it was what 50 percent of mm-hmm. people involved in the show or 50 percent of the on-screen cast had to be uh not white mm-hmm. um going forward for live action productions and now the rumor is even pixar is going to make sure that they have uh gender diverse characters represented in yeah, it's apparently. Um, but, so. you know, let's have a little more fun, though, instead of talking about this. We're going to talk about this other issue they keep doing. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> just a quick follow-up uh, to a video we did the other day about Home Alone. Disney is absolutely milking the wait, milking Kevin McAllister. They're, right, yeah. Um, well, this is one of several options for shirts. There even, there even is a pair of men's boxers uh, or men's underpants. Uh, that are McAllister themed. <laughs> Home Alone. Does it say you filthy animal on your ass? I don't know if it does, uh, but they that t- <laughs> because we're gonna make more Home Alone that no one asked for. Uh, but that's okay. While we're waiting, we can bank on what people know and love the McAllisters and Kevin and all those people and the you know what was it, the Wet Bandits or whatever. The wet Bandits, all those white people. Yeah, you know. Money so, of them. so they have put a bunch of shirts and ugly sweaters and all kinds of crap on their shop Disney store to make sure they are cashing in on home alone before they go and ruin it. There we go. Oh, yeah, I, there's I, the holiday sweater next to it. Merry Christmas. This is very like, they didn't really put a lot of effort in. No, this they just slapped the shit and out. The logo, and it's 25 bucks. Yeah. And there was an ugly sweater and you can't see it there. You had another page, but there was like, you know, um, Oh, they're, they're rotating. They it took out. it. Oh, well, maybe. no, you just search it. But I'm just saying, if you go search Home Alone or McAllister on Shop Disney, there's like several options, and it's 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 just stupid. Well, the reason they're milking everyone they can milk. Mm-hmm. 
uh, and this is uh, WDW Pro put this out yesterday on piratesandprinces.net is, is Disney going to run out of money? Because, yeah, they did better than the worst case scenario. That's what I'm saying. Year. I didn't come in last like everybody expected. I came in like next to last. Yeah, but that's still not good. No. Um, that's still not good. And if they do go all in on uh, politics one particular way, I think that they do run the risk of losing more revenue. Mm. I'm just going to say that because that's probably, you know, people are already talking. I mean, they're already, look, people are already pissed off about Star Wars. Uh, they're already pissed off about the direction of Marvel. Um, we're seeing the Star Wars movies declining and and all of that. And people were talking about, you know, boycotting this and boycotting that, whatever. It's, it's going to mm -hmm. eventually bite them in the wallet. I, I already has bit them in the wall. Yeah. It's going to be worse. So, yeah, there's a possibility that they're just going to keep hemorrhaging money. So they're doing everything they can. And, and, <laughs> and what's well, funny? No, it's everything they can. Like, this is our master plan. No, no, seriously. Because they, the, the two places they have increased hiring, while they're laying off everybody else, is uh, Disney Plus and the the merchandise re retail, like making this shit, selling this shit. That's what they're putting all their their hires and their and their, their focus on. Uh, we're gonna do another video later or something else that they just did today. And if it doesn't show you what their 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 push is, nothing's going to. But they're just trying to literally milk the heck out of every property they have on anything that's marketable to try to get any kind of money they can get. Yeah, it's it's uh, Mickey's magical cash grab. Pretty much is what's going on here. Because they're but. losing money every place else. They're not. They're losing money from the parks. The only thing they got going for them are the merchandise and uh, Disney Plus. Yep, and Disney Plus is still years away from being profitable uh, unless they make all the new releases thirty dollars a pop. You know, they might do that. I think I they're going to totally see them doing that because uh, they're that desperate. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, so there we go, guys. That is official coming from Josh tomorrow. Splash Mountain is absolutely going to happen. It doesn't matter how many people scream or complain. Right. There's going to be a lot more changes beyond that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have, I have no doubt. I so, have, neither do I. Um, I'm worried about the American Adventure Hall presence. I could care less about, really. It's yeah, boring. Yeah. I don't but, know. Well, there's something. I can't think of anything about the American Adventure that isn't true. I thought they tried to make it more. They got Frederick they, Douglass in they, there. They, they did. They added a bunch of stuff yeah. in the in the in the montage too to make sure that it was more diverse and fair. I'm like, just don't. You know, this is, goes back to this whole thing. If we don't like history, so we're going to ignore it or change it, and that's a problem. History is not magical enough. It's got to be Cap the Captain America adventure. You watch. The Captain. But no, it won't be. It'll be America, America Chavez. Chavez. Yeah. America Chavez's adventure. Because he's problematic. Adventures through history. All right. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. Okay. So uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.